So here's the claim from an accused Capitol insurrectionist. I was following presidential orders when he stormed the U.S. Capitol on January 6th and stole a bottle of bourbon and a coat rack from a Senate office. The federal jury did not buy it. Today, that jury found Dustin Thompson guilty on all six counts, including theft of government property and obstructing an official proceeding. Here Thompson is coming out of said office with said bottle of booze. He's the first Capitol insurrection defendant to try the Trump made me do it defense at trial. Here's Thompson posing with the coat rack outside the Capitol. Thompson's defense lawyer argued his client was vulnerable, unemployed, and obsessed with conspiracy theories. He said his client was a pawn and that former President Trump manipulated Thompson along with other supporters on that dark day. This can be the only explanation for otherwise law-abiding citizens with no record to convene in Washington, D.C. and storm the holiest of holy spots in, 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 our, in our fair capital. I mean, there's no other explanation. Zero. They were cajoled, groomed, and directed. The federal prosecutors argued Thompson's a grown man with a college degree who's fully capable of making his own decisions. Under cross-examination, they asked Thompson, you're not a child, right? He responded he was not. In their closing arguments, the prosecution told the jury, this is not President Trump's trial. This is the trial for Dustin Thompson because of what he did at the Capitol on the afternoon of January 6th. Danny Savalos is here, attorney and NBC legal analyst. You know, prosecutors now three for three in these cases. If you're one of the other defendants, Danny, thinking of using the Trump made me do it defense, does this make you consider a plea deal? Maybe. I think a lot of folks who are already planning to go to trial would go to trial no matter what happened to any of the other defendants. But I will say this. Had this long shot defense been successful, you would have seen a number of copycats because the reality is this defense this is what you do when you really don't have anything else. This defense was always a long shot, but for these capital defendants, every defense is a long shot. I mean, you're looking at video and images, putting them in the building, doing bad things. So defense attorneys like me have to get creative. This is a creative defense. It just didn't work this time. You know, the prosecutors seemed careful not to absolve the former president of responsibility. They said, you don't have to choose because this is not President Trump's criminal trial. Was that, in your mind, des designed to protect any future cases that might come up? It's secret code by the prosecutors for essentially, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, whether you like Trump or don't like Trump, to keep that out of your deliberations and really consider whether or not this defendant did what he is charged with. So it's an effective way of saying, look, Trump might be responsible-ish. Uh, he might not be. That doesn't matter. This is the defendant. He made a decision. He went into that building. He did bad things. Danny Savalos, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.